and welcome. I'm so glad you're here watching because I have a very important invitation and a lovely guest here with me today. First, I want to invite you to join myself and some amazing experts on an upcoming event called the Man Panel, where you get to learn all about what's going on in the hearts and minds of men. And one of my guest experts is the amazing Wendy Newman, who's also a good friend. Welcome, Wendy. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for having me. So happy to have you. We just recorded an incredible interview and you can join us by clicking on the link below for, and joining us for the interview. It's free, but you do have to register. Wendy is a media celebrated author and a dating sex and relationship expert. And her book is called 121 First Dates. And it is, has actually been optioned for a TV series. And she's getting all kinds of love from all kinds of media outlets. So we have a celebrity amongst us. Welcome, Wendy, once again. Thank you so much. Always, always a delight to be with you. Yeah, super fun. Um, so, Wendy, um, just to give people just a little something to chew on today, and then just a little something to look forward to on the event. I want to give you a chance to just share something that you think might be valuable for our viewers. Yeah, I'd like to give you something in uh, bite sized because I know we have a limited time. And I think the thing I want to share about is one of the biggest complaints that we have as women is we think we need to tone ourselves down, that we're too big, that we're too big of a handful, that we're too successful, we're too smart, we have to dumb it down because men are intimidated by smart and strong and successful we are. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yep. Hear that all the time. Yep. Yeah. I've been, I went on 121 first dates and I also um, have been interviewing men for the past 20 years in my day job. And what I learned in all of the interviewing and interviewing my dates, <laughs> hanging out with them is they're actually not, for the most part, most men are not intimidated by us. Um, if anything, they're just put off. They're put off by us. And mostly it's in the realm of competition. So I'm just gonna, we've got a short amount of time. I'm just gonna lay it on you, tell you what's going on so you can look for yourself and see if any of this applies to you. And if it doesn't just let it go and maybe I'm not your, not, not your source for information, but I'm just gonna give it right now, which is, um, we often will lead to try and attract a man or, or anyone to attract our person, right? We'll try and attract a man by our looks, our intelligence. We'll use our whole package, right? We might put on heels, we'll do all the things. And one of the things in our toolbox is our success. So we'll start talking about how successful we are and what college we went to and how we got on this track to become this way. And now we're at this level and this is what we're up to. And we've traveled and we've seen it all and we've done it all and we've been everywhere. And aren't we amazing? We are the whole package. It's mm -hmm. pretty great, right? Mm -hmm. Part of it, part of that, there's two pieces. One is it will put him into competition with you. She's hit this level. All right, game on. Well, we're in the same field and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm above her. So now he'll get focused on the competition like he would compete with a dude. You, you don't want him to flip from being on a juicy date with you to now competing with you like you're a dude. Wendy, so is this like two people kind of out trying to out impress each other? We're coming out because we want him to like us and so we're trying to out impress? Yes. And see, it's very simple in the mating and dating world. A woman shows up and she tries to attract him and a man shows up and he tries to impress her and then attract, attract, impress, impress. We end up in bed together. But unfortunately, what happens sometimes is he's trying to impress us and we're trying to attract him by impressing him. So we'll use out of our attraction tool belt the impress thing and it actually causes friction and competition and it doesn't go well and all of a sudden you're like how did this conversation go so south why is he competing with me right now i'm just trying to that's right that's right i forgot a woman can be too successful and then we reinforce that story 
So I am not by any means saying you have to tone yourself down or not talk about where you went to school or any of that. I'm not saying that. And I, I'm a big person in the world. I'm big. And I was out there and it's in, you can be all the way out. You can be all as big as you are. And it's in the energy that you're giving in the moment. So bring your aliveness, bring the story of why you're an astrophysicist. Cool. How did that happen? I don't care about getting the doctorate and thing and then off, off to such college or don't go down the achievement track, go down the passion track. When I was 12 and I was, and I was camping with my dad, tell the story, tell the story that will light up your face and have you be as big as you are, but coming from a place of my life is awesome. I am passionate and I'm going to show you who I am through my passion and what I care about, not about the accomplishments. Those are cool too. We can talk about them if you want, but I'm not going to compete with you around that. Yeah, I, I love this because when you're sharing from that place of the story and the passion, they get to feel you. It's not just a resume or list of accomplishments. It's they get to feel something about you. They get to see something about you kind of a little golden nugget or a glimpse inside of you and they're going to feel you differently that way than if you're trying to out resume accomplish each other yeah and the other little piece to that is they are going to want to contribute to your life just like you want to contribute to your best friend's life right like if you had a best friend who would never let you comfort her that'd be a drag right like that's part of our gift as a woman to be able to comfort people so as a man, part of his gift is to be able to provide something. We don't know what yet. We don't know who he is to you and what you need to have provided or would like that provided. We don't know, but he's going to need to provide something. So if we are the whole package, we got it all handled. We have traveled everywhere. We've done everything. We've bought our own houses and cars and got everything handled all on our own. We're basically saying, I got this. I'm good. I'm one full package. I am an independent woman, independent, independent of partnership, independent of needing anything or desiring anything or allowing anyone to contribute to me in any possible way. I got this. Mm -hmm. I got this. It's not attractive. Right. Yeah. It's not inviting to a man. If you want to no. be in partnership, <laughs> it's like, no. he's going to believe you. You got it. Yeah. And independence is not partnership. Partnership is interdependence. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when they hear I'm an independent woman, well, cool. I really respect that. That's awesome. You're not looking for a partner. You're independent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wendy. And for those of you that are listening, you have to tune in because in Wendy's main interview on the main event, she talked about some things that she discovered about men on 121 first dates. And we talked about some really important things some things that might surprise you or might you may not have heard before. So be sure to click on the link below and be sure to join us for the full event. It's free, but you do have to register. And Wendy, thanks again for always sharing so generously. I always love connecting with you. And um, tell me your website where they can find you. I'm at wendyspeaks.com. Okay, and we'll also put that in the um, notes for this um, video as well. So thank you so much, Wendy. Lovely to have you here. And we'll see you all soon on the man panel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.